Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Glory Room. I'm Prophetess Lou. I hope you all are having a blessed day. Before we get started, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for life, health, and strength. Thank you for loving us and taking care of us. Most of all, we thank you for saving our soul. Father God, we ask you today to be with us. We ask you to help us to stay focused on you. Father God, we ask you to forgive us of any sins we've done, Father God, knowing and unknowingly, Father God. Father God, we also ask you to give us ears to hear and eyes to see. Father God, we ask you to bless the ones that are reading it and bless the ones that are hearing it. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. So the key verse today is Philippians 3 and 8. What is more, I consider everything a loss because of this trespassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. For, for whose sake I have lost all things. I consider them garbage that I may gain Christ. Subject, are you making room? Christian truth, so I'm going to say it and pause behind each one to give you opportunity to say it if you like. I am making room for God. I am leaving everything behind. I am holding on to God. I'm not lost, but found. We think the things we have are some value. But Paul says here that our things are lost because we know he knows Christ because of Jesus. He lost everything. And because of this, he thinks everything is garbage because it's all for the gaining of a closer walk with Christ. So take me, for example, I'm a gamer. I have a PS5, my Steam Deck, my other things. This is a rough estimate of the things I have regarding games are things that, that are value to me. Still, he's saying that those things are anything. He's saying they are not worth it. And in my mind, when I first read this verse, I was like, no way. Not my Steam Deck. Not my PS5. They are valuable to me. They cost a pretty penny, right? We all have expensive things. And it means a lot. But Paul wants us to grasp that. He doesn't care how much the house we live in is available. He doesn't care how much that PS5 costs. He doesn't care how new your car is or the brand. He don't care because it all is garbage. Can you imagine what we hold near and dear to us is garbage? They mean nothing. I've seen garbage. We all have. But none of my stuff looks like it. Still, in the spirit, they are nothing. Because when we constantly give ourselves to God and start changing, we'll see and understand that nothing in this life is of any value. Second Corinthians 4 and 6 says this, For God who said, Let light shine out of the darkness, has shown in your hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. The word of God says here, Let Jesus' light shine in the darkness in our hearts to give us more knowledge of the glory of God. A lot of us won't allow the word of God to shine in us. We won't allow his word to pierce our hearts and minds because we're so focused on this world that we will fade away. That's why Paul is saying that this world is garbage and the things in it. Still, it takes us to genuinely wake up and say, I want to become more. I want to forget about the things here and concentrate on you alone. Many of us are trying to severely juggle everything, but not giving up a lot to make room for Christ. Verse 9, and be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which comes from faith in Christ, the righteousness from God that depends on faith. Paul says it here, my righteousness doesn't come from the law, and it do, and, and do it. He says it quickly, and many of us still think in this mindset, if we give and do everything right, we can get to heaven. Nope. None of the none of the garbage we have here on earth will get us there. He said, my righteousness come from Christ. I must depend on my faith to get me through. How many of you believe that? How many of you know that right now our faith will keep us from leaning on ourselves? Christ wants us to stop leaning on our material things. He wants us to give up our ways of thinking. We need a bigger house and, and care. But all we need, we think we need a bigger house and cars, but all we need is more of him. All we need is to surrender to him. All we need is more time with him. Nothing we have here will bring us closer to God. The more we gain here, the more we have here won't place us in heaven. The things here will set us farther away if we allow them to take the head and lead in our lives. Verse 13, brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own. But one thing I do is to get what lies behind and strain forward to what lies ahead. Paul says immediately, I do, didn't do anything alone ever. I didn't. Whatever I'm going through, it doesn't matter. But what matters is what lies ahead. We have to get to this mindset that what matters is being closer to him and being more connected with God. Because at the end of the day, hell is real. And a lot of us are allowing things and people to lead us right there today. 
we learned that everything is on the earth is garbage. Nothing here can place us in heaven and bring us close to it. It doesn't matter how expensive something is. If we don't make room for God, we are making our lives empty and full of trash. The enemy wants us to hang on to everything that's here and not on the word on God's word. The enemy wants us, in, us so involved in everything here that we forget to focus on the word of God. That's why you forget life's priorities if you notice apps and things that will read you lead you to places or, or, or different apps that will cause you to go further into the app like instagram and tiktok as believers our priority should be making room for christ daily reading our word praying meditating and fasting when we can these things make room for christ and as we do this we forget about the garbage of the world because the word of god is precious to the believer after all it's our food after all it's valuable Things in this life isn't valuable as a believer. If we depend on it, it makes us weaker. Allow the things of God to make you strong because the things of God will help you fight the enemy. The things of the world will only weaken you so you can't fight him. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for so much, for everything. Lord, please help us to let go of this life's garbage. Please help us to hold on to your precious word. Lord, we need more of you than anything. Help us, please. We are sorry for anything we have done. Lord, forgive us for the sins we have done. Lord, change our hearts so we can be pure in your heart. Lord, we trust in you and you alone. Lord, you are the rock of our life, the fortress we need. Help us to hold on to you through every situation. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Reference, Rain. Romans 8 and 18, for I consider that the suffering of this present time is are not worth comparing with the glory that is to be revealed to us. Romans 8 and 18, Philippians 3 and 7, but whatever gain I had, I count it as a loss for the sake of Christ. Philippians 3 and 7, John 17 and 3, and this is eternal life that they know you and the only God in Jesus Christ whom you have sent. John 17 and 3. For the reading, Proverbs 30, Matthew 12, Habakkuk 2, and Joel wine. If you're looking for the devotion to read, it will be at the bottom of this podcast. This ends. Are you making room? I pray you all have a blessed day. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you too. Remember to like, subscribe, and follow on any platform. Remember to share with family member, friend, if you can, share on social media. Thank you. Be blessed.